as a result of Ekla and Omnis's heroic actions, the destruction of time was stopped, and peace returned to the world of Pokemon. Of course, not everything returned to normal right away. Some places remained where time was still out of control. But overall, things were becoming better everywhere. As for Ekla and Omnis, they returned to Wigglytuff's guild, and fell back into their daily routine of vigorous training. One morning, several months later. What? Graduation? That's right, graduation from the guild. If you graduate, you can leave the guild. You'll be rid of the harsh daily training program too. Of course, that all depends on you passing the graduation exam. Hey, 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 chat up. Hey, hey, we've been around for a lot longer than those two. Hey, hey, why did Ekla and Omnis get to take the graduation exam before we do? They've already proven themselves to be worthy many times over. And after all, Ekla and Omnis saved the world. It's only natural they've earned the right to be tested. And that's how it goes. We will soon conduct the graduation exam. I expect you to be prepared for it. Loudra took the graduation exam last year. And promptly failed, hey hey. G -g get lost! So, what do we have to do for this graduation exam? I want you to explore the depths of a wood named Mystifying Forest. You should find a place called Luminous Spring there. Luminous Spring? Yup, it was where Pokemon once went to evolve. But maybe because of the time troubles we had, no sunlight shines on the spring now. Now nothing can evolve there. We want you to travel to the Luminous Spring and return with its treasure. If you can bring that treasure back to the guild, you pass the exam. You will then be recognized as a fully trained exploration team and graduate from the guild with full honors. Okay, we have to bring back the treasure. Let's do this, Ekla. But you have to watch out for one thing. There you'll find a frighteningly strong enemy. The Grand Master of all things bad lives there. The, the Grand Master of all things bad? Yup. The Grand Master is terribly wicked. It's a horrifying presence that no one would ever want to meet. So good luck with that. What? What? Huh? That will do for the morning briefing. All right now, everyone. Let's get down to work. Hooray! What will we do, Ekla? The Grand Master of all things bad? Hey, Loudred! Loudred, you took the graduation exam last year, didn't you? There's something we'd like to know. Can you tell us what the Grand Master of all things bad was like? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to talk to anyone about it. It's the guild rule. I can't talk about it. But... I will tell you this, you're in for a dreadful, terrifying time, what I went through, even now, when I let myself remember it. Ah! <sighs> Loudra didn't tell us anything useful. We'll just have to do our best to graduate on our own. Let's go to Treasure Town and get ready. Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, and welcome to the post-game. I'm so excited to get started. It's so good to be back in Treasure Town, back in this world again. Of course, I finished the last part by saying I just couldn't wait to carry on playing this game, and then I promptly fell ill for about a week and <laughs> couldn't really record. But I'm so excited to be back and feeling better enough to play this. Let's talk to everyone before we go and do anything. That. Thinking about it even now. <laughs> Excuse me? The Grand Master of all things bad? I really can't tell you. Please, I just can't. I'm so sorry. How bad can it be? We just defeated a temporal time god Pokemon. We'll be fine. <laughs> hey, you two. The graduation exam will put you through the ringer. Don't be flattened. <laughs> what have you got for us, Krogunk? Anything good? Uh... Flash tag? 
Ooh, for Shinx, boosts attack and special attack. Nice. Tyranitar. That's the item that we saw before for Paris, I think. The Neon Scarf. Raises the chance of finding money. Nice. Well, I think we want to get that flash tag, so we'll have to come back and get that in a bit. So that'll be part of our daily preparations. Hey, Bidoof. Huh? The Grand Master of all things bad? Oof. You know, I haven't been at the guild much longer than y'all. I couldn't tell you anything about that graduation exam if I wanted to, I swear. I'm sorry. That's alright, Bidoof. For some reason, no sunlight falls on Luminous Spring. Huh? Why's that? Well, why would I know that? True, true. Luminous Spring? Oh, that place is where Pokemon used to go to evolve. Sounds good. Evolution would be nice. The Grand Master of all things bad? No, nope, never heard of him. The Grand Master of all things bad? What? I've never heard of that. The Grand Master of all things bad? Still, there's plenty we don't know about the world. It makes it that much more rewarding to be an exploration team. Oh, there's someone else. We heard this from other teams. They told us about some newly discovered dungeons. The wild Pokemon in there seem more intelligent. They've learned to use items, and they're smarter in the ways that they move and attack. So your team should keep that in mind when you go into new dungeons. Ooh, that sounds interesting. That sounds challenging. I like it. Hey, you two. Oh, you want to know about the Grand Master of all things bad? Let me put it as simply... Eek! Good luck on the graduation exam, hey, hey, hey. Well, thank you, Corfish. Oh, Omnis and Ekla. Hi. Hey, Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring. What's going on? Are you going out somewhere? Yep. Yeah. We're going off to Mystifying Forest now. What? Mystifying Forest? But isn't it dangerous there? Haven't you heard the Grand Master of All Things Bad is supposed to be there? The Grand Master of All Things Bad? I've never heard of anything like that. You sure you're not making a mistake? We go play in Mystifying Forest often. We've never seen or even heard of a Grand Master. You must have misheard a bad rumor or something. Let's go. Bye. Something's not right. That doesn't sound anything like what Wigglytuff said. It's not as if we can do anything about it. Let's get ready and go to the Mystifying Forest. All right, well, let's do that. Ah, oh, it's Marilyn Azuril. The Grand Master of all things bad. Um, sorry, I've never heard of such a creature. Good morning, Omnis and Ekla. Good morning, Azuril. I like Azuril. Alright, let's look at the shop. Let's see, anything here that we want? Not particularly. I think we could definitely use another Reviver Seed, since we burnt through so many in the last stages of the game. So we'll buy that, why not? And what do we have here? Focus Blast. Ooh. Now, I know someone recommended that in the comments. That's expensive, but I think we might have enough stored away to buy that. I don't want to grab that. Let's do that. Don't really have much use for money outside of that, so... Nope, we have nothing. Never mind. I thought we had money saved. Well, that's a shame. I guess we won't be buying that quite yet, but I'm sure it will come back another time. Right, so we have a lot of boxes that I want to do before we do anything else, so let's do that first. Okay, all the boxes have been opened. Let's see what we got. So, we got a Reviver Seed, a Magby Claw, Eevee Tail, a Junior Beam, a Pseudo Sweat, a Max Elixir, Garfang, Clefa Dew, Tyro card, and another Eevee tail. So, lots of exclusive items, that's nice. Uh, that'll allow us to trade to get that Shinx item that Krogunk is selling at the moment. 
What? Whoa. Meh. <laughs> Seems to me your swap went off without a hitch. Those exclusive items you swapped got you this flash tag. I'd say it's pretty rare. I treat it with care. Meh. <laughs> Excellent. So that's another exclusive item for Omnis. That means we have two for Ekla and two for Omnis now. We also have a, a Starly bow in storage. That reminds me, we do need to add Francis and Ego back to the team. I wonder if we'll be able to do that for this dungeon. Well, we can always try. So let's add Francis back. And let's add... Ego back. We're going to stick with these two for now and see how they handle the post game and make adjustments if we need to. I think that's fine. Okay, so we're going to do what we did before and give these iron thorns. No, I didn't want to give it to Ominous. Give these iron thorns to Francis and Ego. Give that munch belt back to Omnis. And just see how they can use those. Other than that, we've got pretty much everything we need. We've got a couple of gummies that we're going to go make some gummy drinks with. A whooper! Please listen. When I was walking through a dungeon the other day, someone stole an item from me. Huh? What did you say? You'll really get my item back for me, Team Dice? Absolutely. Waterfall cave. Well, sure, why not? I'm sure we'll go back there eventually. Thank you so much. I know it causes some inconvenience to you, but I'm so glad you're kind enough to accept it. I love Whooper. Okay, gummy drink time. Eckler drank the orange gummy broth. The delicious flavor overwhelms your senses and delights your digestive system. Eckler's IQ went up significantly. Special attack rose by one. Huh? What? IQ increased too. Excellent. Ego drank the sky gummy juice. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. IQ went up significantly. Learn the IQ skill status checker. Attack rose one. Ego drank the Sky Gummy Smoothie. A savory fragrance and unique bitterness come together for a mature flavor. IQ went up significantly. Defense rose by one. Alright, and that's it. I believe we are now ready to go. I think we're all equipped and ready to go. I don't think there's anything I've missed. So let's head out to the mystifying forest. Listen, Ekla, since this is our graduation exam, I was thinking that just the two of us should go, Ekla. What do you think about leaving behind the other team members? So just we two can go. Well, we don't have a choice. Okay, well, we'll go as a pair then. That's a shame, but... I suppose this is kind of a story dungeon, and for most story dungeons, we go as a pair. Oh, wow. This is the entrance to Mystifying Forest. I have no idea what we're going to see in there, but this is our mission. Get to the deepest part of the forest and bring back the treasure. That's our graduation exam. Let's pass this exam and graduate from the guild. Let's not blow this, Akla. All right, let's do this. Mystifying Forest. This place looks awesome. Awesome. And stairs in the first room, we're right back to it. Okay. Oh, hello. An ivy saw, huh? Hmm. You're a pot poison type, so we will wide slash you. Ouch. Okay, that thing took a fair few hits. Let's grab this apple. What is wrong with that apple? I guess we can't use that? Huh. It looks like it's been disabled somehow. I think that happens, like, with sticky traps. So I guess I guess we can't use that. That's fine. A Nuzleaf. Now we can hit you with a fighting type move. We can miss. There we go. That's better. That's strange how that was doing one damage. What's that? A Nidoran? Yeah. Okay, well, before I do anything else, I'm just going to... Eat that over there. Because I have no use for it. And let's proceed. It's foggy. Electric type moves are weakened. Not great. Nice critical hit, though. Wow, okay. Thunderbolt really did nothing. 
This place looks amazing, I've said that already. And I know that this post game is exclusive to Explorers of Sky. It wasn't in Time and Darkness. So I imagine things will look a little bit different since this is a newer game from now on. Most of the previous content would have been the same as Time and Darkness, but this will be exclusive and new, so... It looks awesome, and as always, the music is fantastic. Just kind of wish the fog would go away, because having an electric type is nice, and having electric type moves that actually do damage is even nicer. A Bidoof! Oh, I'm going to feel bad about this. Sorry. Ow. I remember when Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum were new, and everyone made jokes about Bidoof, about how it was just rubbish and just a, a HM user and nothing else, and it just became a bit of a meme of a Pokemon, really. What? What? Oh, it has Aftermath! Oh, that's annoying. I need to remember that now. What's this? A Chesto Berry. Well, we'll hold on to it for now, but I'm not really a fan of the berries that just cure one. Wow. That is... That's really annoying. I don't even know how to clean those. I think there's a person in the secret bazaar that can clean items. But I don't think there's anyone in Treasure Town that can do that. That's really annoying. Whoa! Hello, Torterra. Um... Let's try and fight this thing, I guess. Omnis is having a real bad time here with the fog and all the grass and ground types. But we're still making decent progress. A C dot. Okay. I don't think we need to brick break you. We'll wide slash you. Nice. More stairs straight away. Also nice. Metapod, it's cloudy. All moves of types other than normal are weakened. Well, I guess that means it would probably be best to continue using Wide Slash. Missing is also fine. What have we got here? An Auron Berry. I think I was trying to say something about berries. A Munchlax, cute. And now gone. I think I was trying to say something about berries earlier and then I got sidetracked. That happens a lot. Um, I'm not really a fan of the berries that only cure one status problem, when you can just have heal seeds instead. I feel like having a cherry berry in case you get paralyzed is a bit of a waste of an inventory slot. Uh, I guess we bite you. Ah, oh, poison point. Speaking of status problems. Oh, we got the cringe. Wow. These things take a lot of hits. We'll try and... Tough out the poison. Uh, let's go this way. Another bite. There we go. A Flygon! It's asleep. Can we leave it alone? Or is Omnis is going to fight it? Okay. That is... Not really your best idea, Omnis. It's, uh, it's a ground type. Does Omnis have a normal type move? It does. It has quick attack. Yeah, let's turn that back on. We turned it off for the Dialga fight, but we'll turn it back on now just so Omnis isn't wasting electric type moves when they're not very useful. More stairs quickly. That's what I like to see. Tenth floor. Uh, Omnis, hello? Omnis? Omnis? We should speed it up, we really should! But you're not moving! Oh, I suppose I can brick break this thing. I suppose I can miss this thing. I suppose we can both miss this thing. Wow, okay. Oh. My. Goodness. That did 116 damage! What?! How did that do so much damage?
Okay, that was unexpected. Omnis! What's going on, dude? Is there like a, a status problem? Oh, immobilized by hunger. Hunger does affect Omnis. Okay, well let's... No, I don't want to give it to you. I want you to eat it. Okay, we're back. Strange. And it's also really weird that I didn't get a notification for that. Maybe I did and I missed it. Size bust orb. Huh. Inflicts damage. The bigger the target's size, the greater the damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. That could be quite useful, actually. I see those stairs. So I guess we're going to start seeing new items. Since we're in the post-game now. What's this? A sleep seed, okay. Man, I'm really annoyed that that Grottel did so much damage. Oh, for goodness sake. Alright, okay. This is how it's going then. Oh, that was my fault. That was my stupid fault. Okay, Omnis woke up a lot quicker than I did though. So many bug types that resist fighting, so many ground types that resist electric. This is really not a great dungeon for us in terms of typing. Oh, Chikorita, cute. And also very much gone now. Why is it always that way with the cute ones? A Reviver Seed, nice. Make up for that one that we lost. A bay leaf. Ah, bay leaf. I really, I try to like bay leaf because I think its design is actually one of my favorites. Haha! Reflect? No. Never mind. Brick, brick, mist. There we go. Get full use out of brick, break there though. Cross eye seed and a warp seed. Okay. A lot of these loops in this dungeon. Yeah, I try to like Bayleaf because I think its design is actually one of my absolute favorites, but I just really struggle to like it much more than that because it's just not really very good. Okay, let's quick attack this Metapod here. Thunderbolt's going to hit both of them. Excellent stuff. Yeah, I tried using Chikorita. Bayleaf and Meganium in my most recent playthrough of Crystal. And I just wasn't impressed. I think not only are the other two starters both really good in that game, but there are a lot of other grass types that are much more usable than the Chikorita line. And it's a shame because I really do like their design. I think it's really cool. Another Flygon, huh? You know what I, I should do is we have thrown items. I should... Set them. Hold L and then press R. It, it's not working. No, that's definitely not working for whatever reason. I'm sure I, I must have tried that before and it didn't work. Dragon Breath. Ow. Okay, well we're going to move into range and actually fight this thing because I don't want it to continue Dragon Breathing me from a distance like that. Okay. Mystifying forest clearing. I think we've come quite deep. Luminous spring can't be too much farther. Oh, Omnis, Ekla. Hey, Teddy Esser and Esserring. You're here too. Yep. We often come play here. So, how's it going? Did you see the Grand Master of all things bad? No, nothing like that. See? I told you that it was only a rumor. Why are you two here? Are you in search of that Grand Master? No, we're not. We're here searching for Luminous Spring. Oh, Luminous Spring? That's just up ahead there. What? Really? In fact, we were on our way there. Wanna come with us? Yeah, come with us if you want. It's a trap. Don't do it. Let's go with them, Ekla. Please, guys, come on. <laughs> oh, no. 
Ow, ow, ow. This is... Was that a pitfall trap? We fell down a pitfall trap? That's what happened to us. Ah! The hole! The hole's closing up! Wah! It's pitch black, I can't see a thing! Are we trapped? <laughs> what? Someone's here. Who is it? Who are you? Welcome to the world of darkness. I am the Grand Master of all things bad. What? The, the g g g Grand Master of all things bad? Hmm. Not only the Grand Master, but more of us besides. A bunch of us minions of the Grand Master are here. You can't see us in the dark, but you're completely surrounded. <laughs> Coming to our lair is the last mistake you will ever make. You're not walking out of here. Prepare to... Uh... What? Wigglytuff? And everyone else? What's going on here? Uh, hey! Bidoof! Why did you take the cover off? Uh, what? Whoops! I thought it'd be too dark for you all to see down there, so I opened it up. M maybe I did something I shouldn't have? Uh, helping out with the graduation exam and all? This is all so new to me, I don't have the foggiest idea of what I should be doing. Ah, what a farce. Listen, Wigglytuff, can you please tell us what's going on? Who's Wigglytuff? Wh what? I am the Grand Master. I know nothing of your so-called Wigglytuff. What? Uh, that's right. And we're the Grand Master's minions. Oh my gosh. That is so right! I don't know any Pokemon named Sunflora. Hey, hey, hey! W what's going on here? And how are you doing that with your voices? Coming to our lair is the last mistake you will ever make. You're not walking out of here. Prepare to face the terror that is the Grand Master of all things bad. Yumta! I should have known something like this would happen. So we actually have to fight? Hmm. This is a lot of people to fight. Okay. What items do we have at our disposal? Let's... Let's use this. We might as well. For double speed. Uh, nobody's moving. Well, I figured this might happen. Uh-oh. This is not gonna end well for us. Well, this is probably a good time to put Wide Slash to use, isn't it? Though, I feel like getting rid of Wigglytuff straight away with Brick Break might also be a valuable thing to do. Oh, right, and we get double moves because we're quick. Here's Thunderbolt. Ah, uh, it's a shame that missed Chattel. That could have been really useful. But Thunderbolt is going to get massive value here. Uh, hmm. I would like it if Omnis doesn't get hit by this dig, though. We don't have any healing items. And now I'm confused as well. This is... This is not good. This is really not good. Omnis, no! I do have an Orin Berry. I can eat that. There we go. That is a big heal. I know there are Citrus Berries as well in this game. Oh, wow, Omnis is doing so much work! Thunderbolt is so good! I'm still confused, which is really annoying. Psywave, uh oh. Uh, do we have more healing items? We do not. What can we use? Maybe we could use a Sleep Seed? Let's try that. Nice, that worked. 
Ominous' Thunderbolt is so good. Oh, I'm still confused, aren't I? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't waste PP while I'm still confused. Still confused. No healing items. No reviver seeds. I guess all we can do is pray. Oh, the miss. Oh, no, we got knocked out. Damn. Damn. Wow, okay. Eh, and terribly. Yeah, it did. Eh, we need to be more cautious. But that Grand Master that was obviously Wigglytuff. Besides, the minions were all the guild members. Who are they trying to fool? Well, anyway, we should still try to graduate from the guild. Let's keep at this, Ekla. Yeah, and we'll do that in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.